What's up YouTube, Dazwell Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today, one of my subscribers, they've been asking me this, how to, um, to, to use one instance of contact to put multiple... Um, libraries using multiple libraries just one instance of contact with multiple libraries in there spread in onto different tracks all right so that's the video for today if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead hit that subscribe button let's get it man almost at that thousand let's go let's get it all right let's go So what we need to do is get the and just double click it so it can just drop instead of dragging it and drop it. If I drag it and drop it, it will change this whole VST. All right. So now you see, let's change this. See, this says the output one and the MIDI channel one. Now the Alicia Keys is output one, but MIDI channel two. So what you need to do now is go to your contact, just change the MIDI channel. To two. Now we'll be playing the Alicia Key is all the one it is still the one instance of contact. See we have the cloud supply and we have the Alicia Keys on there. But when I use track two is only gonna play Alicia Keys. But if I say I change the MIDI channel right here and put it on track track one, now track two is gonna play both of them. Listen. Hold on, I gotta change it back to track one see both of them playing you can tell by right here and right here all right so let's change it back to track um, MIDI channel 2 and now I'll change this back to MIDI channel 2 just the Alicia keys all right so now we need to try to create a pad to go with that me with this melody we need to create a progression to go with this melody That's what we're going to do. Let's go. All right. Now let's copy our bottom notes. Alt, move, click on it and move, move it over one. Let Alt go, drop it down and then move it back. See it's not on the line. Just use the arrow key and move it back over. Now that's our bass note. So let's listen. All right, let's um. Let's drop it one more, see what that sound like. All right, that's hot. I like. 
like that. I like that. I like that. That's dope. Let's just copy everything. Right? Control A. Control C. And bring it to track 3. And what we're going to do. See our playhead is all the way over here. We can either drag it. We can either. Hold on. We can either drag the playhead and bring it over. Or easily just hold shift and stop and it brings it right there shift stop on the NPC and it brings it back to the start all right so let's um let's paste that the um the progression into track three control V all right um I think I want a pad I want a pad sound let's close this let's on um, take these away right so we only end up with this and move this up one move these up one alright now we're gonna go back in the contact uh, let's add a um, let's add uh, some kind of pad or let's go to Excel and just put that in just double click it let it load up and now you see Excel is down here but look is on MIDI channel 3 so what we need to do on track, track 3 just change it to three. Now Excel will be playing. All right. So let's get up some kind of pad. What I've been using, D um, D minor. So let's go to. D minor okay and let's hear what that sound like Let's say on alright, let's um let's um add some kind of um effect to it. Let's add a gatekeeper. Let's hear what that sound like. So that's the that's the only issue with that. The only issue with this is once you put the, the effect on on the instance of contact is gonna affect every track. And that's the only thing I that's the only part I don't like about it. Yeah, that's the only that's the only that's the only setback. You can't uh, you can't put an effect on this one program. So if you wanted the effect if you want to put effects on each individual track, I don't mm, I'm not going to say I, I don't think it can work. Um let's see what we could do. Um yeah take that off MIDI tracks see and that's the thing if if MIDI tracks could allow to put cause look see they're playing, see they're playing on separate MIDI tracks so if we was if we was able to put effects on MIDI tracks then it would have worked then it will work that way but the MPC for some reason don't I don't know why MPC fix that I don't know why but that's that's how they do it alright YouTube so that's that's the whole issue with using one um, instance of contact to add multiple libraries the in the MPC is you cannot put an effect on each individual track because the MPC don't allow that the MPC need to fix that input so you can use effects inside the MIDI tracks once we can do that then it will be game over alright so that's that right there need to they need to just add the effects right here and add that we can put the um, 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 automation right here too so we can automation it alright so that's that was just a quick video to show you how to um, 
use one instance of contact and add multiple libraries to make you know make your whole track with just one instance of contact but the downside is like I said can't affect inside the effect inside your your your, your uh, mixer you can't affect each individual um, each individual library so that's the only downfall but you know what I'm saying it still work you can use it to make multiple sounds put them all together and create a multi right that's just a quick video to show you how to do that all right YouTube see you in the next one what I might do I'm gonna keep this sound right here I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna make a beat with it and I'm gonna um, post that as another video all right catch you in the next one YouTube peace let's go